Welcome to Post Anami, where we talk about our, our time during uh, the Channel Islands High School marching band. And we'll also talk about um, our life kind of yep. after the tsunami of sound and what our future goals are. And I'm here with Andre. Andre, what's up? Thanks for uh, taking the time to do this. What's up? Thank you, Sir Duke. I really appreciate <laughs> you having me on. I, you know, I see you from time to time with uh, some of the people that, you know, I've seen um, at homecomings and and, uh, yeah. and the like. So, um, you know, I thought it'd be cool to come on and, you know, say what's up. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about CI a little bit and... We, we got a ton to talk about, um, but before we do that, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, name your your um, your high school graduation year, um, what instruments you played, and all, all that stuff. <laughs> all right, cool. So, um, Dre Spence, I uh, went to Channel Islands. Clearly, I have my thing on. I graduated <laughs> yeah. in 2003. Uh, this says quads on it. Uh -huh. Um, I was in, so I was, I was a captain of the drum line my last year in, um, in high school. Uh, the previous two years I played the bass drum. Uh -huh. Um, and prior to that I played the tuba. Um, yeah, that's what I played in high school and, you know, wherever mm -hmm. they needed me, if I, if they needed a trumpet or if they needed a saxophone or a clarinet, <laughs> whatever, you know, I played that. Baritone. Okay. So yeah. So did you know how to play all those instruments in high school? Because that's, that's like pretty impressive, I would say, at a high school level, if you know how to play all those instruments. Yes. So, so when I was in um, middle school, I went to Blackstock. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I, I think like a certain day, we would get out early. Yeah. And I would go around. I'd carry my baritone. And I would basically just walk to like uh, Hathaway or to Williams or, you know, the surrounding yeah. middle schools and just go to the music classes with the teacher uh -huh. and just play with them and help them out and stuff. And, you know, so oh, cool. I was learning, playing and yeah, Miss Walker, and, you know, that was, I'm sure, way before your time. Oh, yeah. Miss Walker. She was, uh, yeah, yeah. Dolores Walker. I wonder what she's doing. Yeah, no. Right. Um, I think. I think the person who replaced her is um, Mr. Bond, who he was my like band director. So yeah, yeah he he taught he taught um, at Blackstock and all of the um, surrounding elementary uh, schools. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, when I when I started in fourth grade, that was his first year there. So Miss Walker probably oh, yeah. retired two thousand and seven, two thousand eight. No, actually, no wait, two thousand three, two thousand four. I'd say. Man, that's crazy. So yeah. my year, everyone just basically left. Like 2003, 2004 was like, you know, I know Mr. Ingalls uh -huh. left at that time, you know, uh -huh. and I guess Miss, Miss Dolores Walker also left at that time. That's really interesting. I didn't <laughs> know those two things were like in sync, you know, synchronicity, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, oh man. And then uh, Ingalls, like, I heard about him like being strict, but I don't know if they were, those things were true. I don't know. It's just things that I've heard because I never had Mr. Ingalls as as a band director, um, so I don't know about that experience. Maybe so, you can talk about that a little bit. So, Mr. Ingalls. So, w by the time I got to him, he was really chill. He was yeah cool. Like he was always laid back. He was not strict at all. Um, I wish he was more strict, um, <laughs> but that was, that was towards the end of his time. Um, yeah. But um, I also heard rumors, um, but I've also seen pictures. My mom was in Mr. Ingalls' band. Oh, really? You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. She played the clarinet. But anyways, that's uh -huh. that's another conversation. But yeah, yeah she said that she he was strict and she didn't like him, but she liked playing the clarinet. Um, mm -hmm. but that was back during his prime time, you know, I yeah. got him towards, towards yeah. the end of his career. So, mm -hmm. so he was chill with us. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Did, uh, did you and I just like to put this out there real quick? Yeah. I told him to wait for me to leave and he did not, he did not wait. <laughs> <laughs> did, um, did you guys do field shows, uh, back then? Because... Right, right now, you know, CI does not do any of that stuff. Nope. 
No, um, we just marched onto the mm -hmm. field in an arch, played the national anthem. Maybe yeah. we played another song. During homecoming, we would make the two lines by the short flags. Still do that. Other uh, than that, still do that. It. I mean, that's what I did when I was in high school. So this goes back further than I yeah. thought. Like the last time we did field shows competitively, at least for CI. Um, uh, oh man, I think it was 96. Uh, so, okay, so here's what uh -huh. I heard um, <laughs> from one of the directors, um, Mr. Ingalls, Mr. Doty, uh, basically everybody in the Oxnard mm -hmm. district was really trying to not do field shows. They really wanted the parade oh, to be okay. their thing. And, and that, you know, and that's just what SESBOA was at the time. They weren't really yep. big on field shows. And then, you know, the transition came and then, you know, Oxnard mm -hmm. started having their, their field show. And then everybody would always come to that. And, you know, and then the, the, um, not the classical scene, but the the festivals yep. at CI and the ones that were at uh, Wanimi, you know, they they stopped having mm -hmm. them, and the biggest thing that was happening was at um, at Oxnard, and that's, I mean, I guess that's oh, what happened, but yeah. you know, it was never a thing. It was never a thing for field shows to be yeah. big here. They did not want. Oh, that. interesting. I I had no idea yeah. that it was on a on a district level. You know, I thought it was just CI. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a district thing. Yeah, um, I think Oxnard started uh -huh. their field show first in in the yeah. '80s, I think it was, and um, I think CI. Yeah, I think they resisted all the way through the. Yep, my I mean, time. We still have. <laughs> we're we're yeah, still I, resisting. I just, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, I know I've tried to uh, I tried to spice up the band a little bit when I was there. Mm -hmm. I tried to write some music, arrange some music, and you know, try to do some things, right. and right. Uh, I didn't work too yeah, well. Yeah, you know what? Like my fish are fighting. Hey, <laughs> you know what? Like it's Sorry. it's it's hard for like things to stick. I I feel like like when I was when I was drum major, I you know I. I, I made a real effort to like whatever we learned, we stuck with it, you know, at least for my time there so that we so yeah. that we would just keep building on, you know, building on our like library mm -hmm. songs and our traditions and all that stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. obviously when you graduate, you know, you can't control that. So, you know, some things stick, some things, you know, people let go, but that's just how it is. Right. Um, you know, what's, what's cool that stuck that I see that you guys are uh -huh. still doing? The simple twirling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's yep. <laughs> I, I brought that back in two thousand four. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah, my, yeah. Yeah, because my high school does all that stuff. Yeah, and uh, it was the Ventura County Parade. You know what? I was an alumni just randomly at the Ventura yeah. County Parade, and uh, all Mel was there that year, and they were yeah. dancing, <laughs> and um, I had the drumline play, and I got the cymbals, and I was just crashing them underneath my legs, kicking high uh -huh. and stuff, crashing behind my head, doing all kinds of stuff. And everybody <laughs> was like, oh, wow, how'd you do that? And then one of the, uh, one of the, um, his name is Dan. Uh, I forget his last name, but he was on all mail. He was like, oh, that's cool. I want to do that too. So he grabbed the pair of symbols and he was doing the same uh -huh. thing I was doing. And after that, it, you know, you know, it, I think it was a few years till I visited, but I don't think we were twirling symbols oh, before that. Yeah, yeah. When I when I got into high school, which is 2008, you know, they've been symbol spinning for for a while. So it's it sounds like they were symbol spinning for you know at least four years by the time I came in the band. Yeah, yeah and I least. think they're still doing it. So that's that's something that's that's stuck. Um, so that's cool to hear. Um, before we move on, That's before we cool. move on to anything else, can you describe your, your, like your high school band self? You know, how was, how was the Andre, like, how was the, the teenage Andre in band? <laughs> like, Ooh. oh man, um, teenage Andre in band. <laughs> so my first three years of high school were totally different than my last year of uh -huh. high school. My first three years in high school, um, 
I'm not going to say I was a nerd because I didn't do my work. <laughs> um, but I acted, I don't know. I, I acted like I was a nerd, but I wasn't yeah. a nerd. I was like, I wanted to be the nerd, but I kind of inside wanted to be cool. Yeah. I don't know. This, this, it goes deeper, you know, I guess I'll kind of caveat real quick. Um, so in fifth grade, mm -hmm. I went to, uh, Hathaway, yeah. um, I had this teacher here, her name was Miss Shaw. And when we got in trouble in her class, it's interesting. Uh, ap apparently I used to be talkative or whatever. <laughs> it, anyways, when we got in trouble for her class, we had to write a hundred facts. So, you know, I got up to like 1200 facts. Oh, wow. And um, the rule was, if you have, you know, facts and stuff like that, you can't go on the trips and stuff. So we were going on this trip to the Gettys uh -huh. Museum and I was like, oh, let me get my facts done. So I did my 1,200 facts. And the day of the trip, you know, I turned them in. I was like, here you go. And the teacher was like, what's this? I was like, oh, these are my facts. <laughs> you know, and she was like, oh, you're still not going on the trip. I was like, wait, what do you mean? She's like, no, you're not going on the trip. And since then, all the way up to my junior year in high school, I said, I'm never doing work again. Really? So I didn't do homework. I didn't do homework from fifth oh. grade to 11th wow. grade, <laughs> all because of that. So um, now I will say that I didn't do work, but I was learning the entire time. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I would ace all my tests. Mm -hmm. I would, you know, so it wasn't like bad except for English. <laughs> if you don't do your work in English, yeah. you fail English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, anyways, so that, just take that. So I, uh, this is my mentality during my freshman, sophomore, junior year. <laughs> Uh, of high school so i'm taking that and i'm just i'm just loving band like the only i, I hate school the only reason i come to, to school is because band mm -hmm. you know that's i did i eat breathe sleep band like yep. that's the only thing i did like i had friends that i met in the neighborhood you know uh because i moved mm -hmm. and they're like why why are you always hanging out with the band kids like why don't you come over to the jock tree with us and blah 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 and i'm mm -hmm. like no, we practice at lunch. You know, we got drum line, we got competitions, and you know all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I was, I was, uh, I was a cool follower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a cool follower, and um, I really loved music, um, and I really wanted things to be better than they were. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, one a quick story. Uh, my freshman uh -huh. year in high school. Um, hopefully, you can play this. Um, <laughs> but I remember the very first football game. Um, actually, you know what? It was it. It was my it was my uh, eighth grade year. You know they have like uh, uh, the night where you invite eighth graders over and they come and see and stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, it was that night, and afterwards. Um, you know, we were watching the band march back into the band room and stuff, and it was so mm -hmm. cool. And then afterwards, you know, everybody went to the band room, and we were just looking outside. And one of the guys in the band felt like I stole something of his. <laughs> and he told all his band kids, hey, that guy stole something. And they proceeded to jump me. Wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? I didn't steal anything. Yeah. Um, gosh, what I really wish I could remember their name. Wait, wait, so but, this is... uh, Ruffinelli is one of his friends. So, so this is when you were a freshman. So, this is when huh? you were a freshman NCI's band. This is when I was uh -huh. in eighth grade, eighth oh, okay. grade going into ninth grade on the on the uh freshman oh, okay. night or eighth grade night. Gotcha. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm bouncing <laughs> everywhere, but it's all <laughs> it's all previous now, so <laughs> um. Man, what is my train of thought now? <laughs> no, I think I, I think I got the gist of, of what you want to say. Um, so you, okay, yeah. So like, <laughs> you were, you were basically like, part of like the band click, I would say. Um, but yeah, but, until my senior uh -huh. year, my senior year of high school, um, I gave in to my friends. Mm -hmm. I started hanging around the jock tree. I joined the, mm -hmm. I joined the track team. Um, you know, I was really good. Um, I was, 
I, I really wanted to be on yeah. all male, but conflicted too much with drumline. Yeah. And, you know, it was just like way too. And not, to, I don't know, you might have to take this part out, but they already had their signature black guy, you know, they had Ricky, <laughs> uh, everybody knows Ricky, you know, I was pissed, but you know, I was, me and Ricky were like known for being like the dancers, he, mm. him way more. So I was just like the guy who's going to start the party or, you yeah. know, the guy that's in the dance, actually dancing, you know, mm. um, but, um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Even yeah. even during my time, there was no way you were gonna do all male and band, like because if you were an all male, all female, uh, short flags, drill, any of those squad groups, like they they needed your undivided yeah. attention. You know, it required like a hundred percent of <laughs> your like free time. So, um, there was no way like there yeah, was no I way people were doing time band I went. Sorry, go yeah, ahead. I remember one time I went to their um, a competition of the uh -huh. drill team U drill team USA or dance something yeah, USA, yeah. and wow, there was just so much that I didn't expect it, and I, you know, I didn't know they were so yep. independent. You know, not like no, I felt like we were sheltered in band, even though we, I guess, we were just as yeah. independent, but it was just so eye-opening you know those so many different groups and you know during my day everybody yep. always won first yep. place so, you know every single group you know it was it was great yeah it sounds like but yeah it sounds like that that standard <laughs> has always been up there for those squads because when i was in high school yeah. you know they oh, were yeah. like super dedicated people you know they spent all their free time you know practicing mm -hmm. and all that and um and i mean in band when yeah. i yeah, I mean, in in band we spent that time, but you know, we weren't like we weren't at school until like nine at night, you know, kind of thing, you know, practicing. Um, it was more like, hey, we were right. we were at school until like five or six, you know. It's like we still had dedication, but we weren't like at like that level, <laughs> you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Good exactly. <laughs> um, and then um, during my time in band, a lot of people did band and did like some sort of sport uh, i know a lot of people um during my time did like band and tennis and tennis was like a fall sport so they would be gone like half the time um some people did like band and track band and and swim uh or water polo water polo um and i think i think because like terrell kind of relaxed the um the amount of like time and dedication needed for band like people can go out and do other things um which is like a pro and a con because you know obviously you're not spending as much right. time in band um but on the plus side you get you know different exposures to like different groups and different that activities so that's always good um mm -hmm. yeah i know that's one thing i yeah. wanted to come back and do i, I really wanted to to come back and make the band on that level with everything yeah. else at CI. And I wanted to take us and yeah. I wanted to <laughs> travel the world. Like that was my dream. Like come back to CI, we can make the band like great. <laughs> we can go to mm -hmm. all the places that I used to go to when I was in college and go to all the battle of the bands and, you know, come with a whole, but a whole bunch of uh, Mexicans <laughs> and, and, yeah. and, and uh, Filipinos, you know, like yeah, we can do this too, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but oh well, you know. Yeah, it, it, maybe it's not too late. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, you got to build up to that, and you know, it's 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 difficult because you know, just the, I guess the mindset is just different. I don't know. Um, but uh, I don't know. I feel like CI's mindset is is totally different. Like you guys. Or we, I guess uh -huh. we can say, like, we, you guys are, like, operating regardless of what's happening around mm -hmm. you. So, uh, I, I really admire the dedication of China Island's high school students. Um, even when I was there, you know, like, even your band camp, like, who sets up your band camp? All student run. Yep. Drum major, right? <laughs> yep. Right? You know, at any other school, it's not like that. Like, if, 
if the band director doesn't say, hey, we have band camp at this day, this time, if, if the band director doesn't say that, there's no band camp. Kids aren't going to be like, oh, well, we're going to have band camp on this day, this time. We're going to be at the park. We're going to be at uh-huh. the school. You know, that doesn't happen at any other school. And oh, really? I wish it did. Dude, that's that's in- yeah, that's like, interesting because at CI, like everything is student run. Like everything is student driven band camp practices like everything like honestly if if the band director just vanished one day like everything would operate like as normal (laughs) yeah pretty much the only thing is that supposed to be yeah 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 (laughs) um go ahead um pretty much like the only thing that would change is that like hey we can't get into the band room (laughs) because the band director has the keys (laughs) kind of thing (laughs) (laughs) um that would that would be the only difference (laughs) but uh yeah i bet but then even at that point we can have like one of the administrators you know come in (laughs) Mm -hmm. but uh yeah it's for me ci has always been you know student driven and that's always been our big thing um very like bottom top approach versus mm-hmm. like top bottom um yeah so uh i want to talk more about the the past i think i mean i guess you went, went over it a little bit but uh like overall how was your how was your band experience at at ci it's like a quick bird's eye view and experience yeah. it was good um I felt like the entire time I was just hungry for more though. Uh-huh. I, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't being fulfilled musically. Mm-hmm. And you know, even though, you know, I tried to share share my music and share my talent with people and teach people, yeah. I just felt like it wasn't enough. And even getting to college, I didn't plan on going to college and we'll get yeah. to that in a second. But even getting to college musically, like I was I was not prepared, you know, um, and, and and it kind of sucks because like we, we would hold on. I don't think I don't think my year we got superior. Mm-hmm. Maybe my freshman year we got superiors at yeah. festivals and stuff. But you know, we were a decent band, so I thought you know that would translate into the collegiate world. And woo, it's way different. It, <laughs> I mean, I mean. I knew I knew scale. Mm-hmm. I knew how to play some songs. I could play some songs by memory, you know. And I guess that's that's really what got me into college, mm-hmm. really, just because of that. And I'm not sure if you remember. I said um, I played percussion, drums yeah. for three years in high school, and I played tuba freshman year. I got a scholarship to college playing the tuba. Mm-hmm. The only reason I remembered how to play the tuba is because they needed a tuba player for graduation. Uh-huh. So I came back and I learned how to play the national anthem for, on the tuba. And that's what I played in my audition <laughs> for college. Next thing you know, wham, bam, I'm in college. But yeah, yeah. I, uh, I took some notes and uh, so, um, you, were, took- you, were, you were visiting your grandparents, right? Over at uh, Norfolk. Yeah, so um, my grandparents moved out to Virginia uh, just because my grandfather's family lived out there. They oh, lived okay. in uh, Chesapeake, Norfolk, Hampton mm-hmm. area. And um, I was currently waiting to get surgery so that I can go to the Air Force. Oh. Like, that was my first choice. I was going to go into the Air Force, uh, going to go play uh, drums yeah. in the Air Force. And then um, I'm not sure if you heard of MEPS no. before, but I went down to MEPS. I took my ASVAB. I got my little 97 mm-hmm. or whatever that score is. And then I was going to make all this money. And then got to the time where they swore me mm-hmm. in. And in the like scouts on her mid sentence, the door mm-hmm. pops open and the people, the doctors know you cannot, <laughs> you cannot, um, you really? cannot join. You have a heart murmur. Oh, wow. What the? Yes. I was like, I'm in the middle of swearing again. What do you mean I can't join? What? I was like, and they're like, they come with the clipboards. You shouldn't have been able to do the duck walk. You shouldn't have been able to do this. So, you know, and overall, from band and track in high school, I was an athlete. So I didn't really have any heart murmur yeah. problems. Um, I know that I didn't like to run long distances, yeah. 
but I didn't think it was like, you know, you have a you have a heart problem. But apparently, I had a heart problem, and I had a, a atrial septal defect, which means unoxygenated blood would get back into the bloodstream, which you know would make you tired faster because oh. you're not getting all the oxygen that you keep getting to your muscles. So um, I was waiting for I was waiting to get surgery, and my aunt and uncle were like, "Hey, want to go on a road trip?" I was like, "Sure." You no, know, so we left on the road trip. Mm -hmm. I had a bag full of clothes and we left on the road trip mm -hmm. and then saw my grandparents. It, it was literally two weeks after that, like school started mm -hmm. or band camp started. So, wow, wow, it was just crazy. You know, I get, I, I got there and, um, so my senior year in high school, uh -huh. the movie Dreamline came oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it was. I think it was like January or December 2002 or something like that. Yeah. And that was like the big thing, you know, and it was that. And <laughs> um, the temp, I think I mentioned this yeah, in the yeah, interview, yeah, the yeah. Tampax, mm -hmm. the Tampax commercial. And, you know, isn't that crazy that that dude, the, the dude that was there oh. is the one that was like, Hey, this is, this is the commercial. This is what you should do for the commercial. And he's the one that put it on air. Uh -huh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the, one, he's the reason that I wanted to go to a school like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those are those are my two uh, ends with that kind of band. So when I get there, you know, I'm just like, oh, it's one of these bands, you know, cool. I, I guess I'll audition. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really know how to play the tuba. I even asked the, <laughs> the people um, after my tuba audition, hey, do you want to hear me play the drums? They're like, no. It's like, oh. <laughs> But um, but yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, that's. Did, did I complete that? I think I answered the question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. When when I went to college bands, I um. I saw some of the other kids, and you know the the band programs that they were coming from, and I just felt like oh crap <laughs> i'm i'm actually like severely lacking in like music like i guess like yeah. musically um like i knew i had the dedication but we we like we just didn't have like the technicality of some of the other you know high schools um because ci has always been like very raw i i feel like but um we just we just don't have like that 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 technical you know skills um from like from like what you would get from like a band director since it's very student driven and because it's student driven every yeah. like everything is kind of just passed on um by hand or by by like teaching mm -hmm. you know the underclassmen and you know some things get lost in translation that sort of thing um You're right. so yeah we we never really had like that technical background from like a band director or like some assistant to um have that knowledge mm -hmm. to like bring it to the band kids um so when i went to college band you know i just yeah. felt like dude i'm like really behind and plus being being drum major i didn't really get to play my trumpet um so mm -hmm. because i was i was just conducting all the time i just i just didn't get to play which which sucked um but i was very right. good at like looking at <laughs> looking at the band from, from from like a bird's eye view and seeing like hey like the drums are too loud at this part or like i could feel like the drum line like slowing down the tempo you know that kind of thing that that kind of like mm -hmm. the band director's point of view um so it was it was strange going back into like being like a trumpet player you know being like part of the band versus like directing the yeah. band um where did you go? So I went to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. It's about oh my mom. Oh really? There. Oh cool. <laughs> yeah. Was she in the band? Let's see. She wasn't in the band. She went for um, computer engineering. Or oh something cool, like cool. That. Yeah, I did. I did computer yeah. science. It's pretty similar. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, did you have like a favorite year in band? Hmm. Musically, it was my freshman mm -hmm. year. Um, 
socially, it was my senior oh, okay. year. Yeah. Yeah. Because freshman year, we got superiors. We, yeah, I mean, we sounded good. Like, I'm not sure if you all did parades with like Scripps Ranch and stuff like that, but we were like beating Scripps Ranch and we were like beating huge bands and it was great mm -hmm. and, you know, felt good. Pismo Beach, first place, you know, it was off. It was great. Like, awesome. Um, I always get off, off, uh, <laughs> off topic. No, that's okay. That. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Pismo, Pismo Beach was our like, that was like the big parade or band review that we always prepared for every year. There was this one year, mm -hmm. I think it was my senior year, and it's this is really dumb. So we got we got first place technically, but because our bus like parked in like in the wrong area, they deducted like ten points from our our score, and that <laughs> dropped us down to second place. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was it's it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, I mean I don't I don't know if it was ten points, but imagine. yeah, <laughs> it dropped you down. It doesn't matter what it did. Wow. Yeah. It was... Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those technicalities sometimes happen. I know, yeah. like at competitions, you know, some parents will be talking when the other band is playing, and mm -hmm. they'll get deducted points or something like that, and they'll be mad yeah. when they get the score sheets. Right. So there are those technical times. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, whatever it happens, <laughs> you know what? You know, the band worked really hard. You know, they got first place in our eyes. So I was like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, do you have any? <laughs> do you have any? Um, like, if if you could go back to um, back in time and like give yourself like your high school self advice, like what? Uh -huh. Like what? Like what would you tell yourself? Do exactly what you're doing, except for do your homework. <laughs> okay. There we I go. did my homework. Oh my gosh! Like, I'd be making money. I would have been on <laughs> multiple scholarships. I don't. I would have. I wouldn't have suffered through college uh, financially. Mm -hmm. You know, like, man, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like, you know. Even if you have bad grades, you can still get into college if you're talented. Yeah. But if you have good grades and you're talented, you can get your college paid for it and they'll pay you yeah. to go to college. Yeah. So I didn't get that, you know. I, I wasn't even planning to go to college, you know, like I said. Right. Right. I was just waiting on surgery. So Yeah, and then um I don't think that's yeah, there was there was one thing that resonated with me when when you were on the show last week was that um, growing up in Oxnard, it's predominantly like Hispanic and Filipino, and yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so I'm Asian, but I'm not Filipino. I'm Vietnamese. So for like for me growing up, like like I'm Asian, but I'm always like outside of like the main filipino group oh, i always felt like an out like an outcast i mean i mean maybe not to that degree but um that's something that uh that i think about like like every day <laughs> um when and then when i went and then when i went to college it was it was pretty much the same thing but but like san, san luis obispo was like predominantly white right so i was like i was like pretty used to um I was pretty used to being like in the minority, so I just thought to myself in in slow like, hey, just replace all the Hispanics and the Filipinos with like white people, and that's basically the same thing. It wasn't a big deal for me, um, so I was already used to you know being in that minority. And um, when I was like listening to you know you talk about that, I like I related to that you know because um, Oxnard you know doesn't now, doesn't have a big black population. No, not at all. Now I have a question, yeah. quick question for you. Can you imagine yeah. if there was a school where 99% of people looked like you and acted yeah. like you and right. you felt like family when you got there? Can you imagine that? Yeah, that's crazy. You know, I would, for me, I would feel out of place because like all my life I grew up outside of the bubble, so to speak. So like, so yeah. like, yeah. So like to be inside of the bubble just feels like it doesn't feel right. Because you've been outside yeah, of that's for how so I long. Feel. 
yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I felt when I got there. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. They felt like family, but it was like, but you're not family. I'm not used to this, but it's kind of cool. And yeah, wow, I do the same thing and do the same things, and wow, you know, you guys get hyped like I get hyped. And we're like, wow, <laughs> you know, it was it's. Was, Wow. That's all I can say about yeah. that. Just, wow. I'm so glad I went to the college I went to. Mm-hmm. And I try to get anyone to go. Like, if you were one of my students, I would have tried to get you to go play trumpet at one of the colleges that I went to. Mm-hmm. Um, just to experience it. And I don't know. Like, I, I'm not sure what they teach in in San Luis Obispo as mm-hmm. far as, like, history class. Um but we got raw history, you know, yeah. um, right across uh, our college. Um, okay, so Hampton University is, um, have you ever heard of uh, the Emancipation Proclamation? Yeah. It was uh, uh, it was um, freed slaves, right? Mm-hmm. By, uh, it was uh, in this order that was said by Abraham Lincoln under this big oak tree. So they call it the Emancipation Oak, and that's the side of my college. Uh, it's also on the waterfront. Mm-hmm. On the other side of the waterfront is where the, I believe, is where the first slaves in America came in, Chesapeake oh, Bay. Oh, wow. Dang. Yes. Oh, the Emancipation Oak, yeah. Hampton. Um, let's see. Why was I talking about the tree? Why was I talking about Hampton? Oh, just that. Okay. I was talking about just, um, you know, raw history like yeah. the history of the slaves you know it started where that school is uh-huh. at so we actually got the raw history and if other people other than white people and other than black people went and saw that and were able to uh empathize i guess you know and just just look at america for what yeah. it is not from a black perspective not from a white perspective right. but from an outside perspective right. of, other than right knows you know i think it'd be just really good like even now i don't think 90 percent of the students in oxnard union high school district know any real depth about what really goes on in this country Mm -hmm. you know they don't know anything about the tuskegee experiment they don't know anything about the tulsa massacre they don't know anything about black wall street you know and oh yeah that's what i was saying you know do do they teach that stuff in um at San Luis Obispo? Did you guys learn that? Um, so I had a class. I forgot the name, but um, it was like an ethnic, like studies class, and it was about like a humanities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was part of the the part of the humanities, and we talk about you know we talk about politics, history, um, ethics. Oh. Um, I do remember, you know, some of that stuff. We 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 actually did t- like hit some of those things um, because um, I think when you're in high school and you're learning about the history, it's very like um, how do you how, how do you see it? Yeah, it's like I guess like surface level. Like you don't go into like the actual right. like nitty gritty details because you know right. some like some of the details like you actually it's actually like pretty sad or like depressing or like oh this is part of our country's history you know um right and it's and it's kind of depressing that you know a certain population was you know that had this experience um right so yeah i i did learn about you know some of the some of those things in college um but being a being a like an engineering major like we didn't take a lot of those classes um but um yeah it was it was just part of our general general education requirement um yeah now if as like an asian person like could i go to a hbcu (laughs) like could i could i apply Um. (laughs) yes not not only could you apply you could thrive you what the you'd really be a minority there what a minority in a minority school yeah that's like inset (laughs) yes like they're looking for that like yeah. Um, I think it was two years ago. I had uh, some colleges from the East Coast. You know, they're looking mm-hmm. for, uh, you know, that was when Trump was trying to kick out all the Mexicans. So they're mm-hmm. right now they're trying to have an influx of, of Mexican students. You know, mm-hmm. those people who are um, 
at a disservice due to our country. You know, those are who they take in. You know, that's who they historically have taken in before. So, you know, they're still about that. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. So if, you, if you want to apply, apply. <laughs> um, I highly suggest it and you will probably go for free. Oh, nice. And if, you, not, if you want the avenue, let me, if you want the avenue, I will give it to you. I will. <laughs> Trust me, I I can't wait for a streamline of people from California to start going that way. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, like honestly, when I was going to colleges, I didn't even consider anything outside of California just because of the in-state tuition. Like everything out of state was just out of the question. And I don't know if California has any HBCUs. I don't think I don't uh, think we do. Well, they do have an HBCU. It's um. Charles Drew University. It's a medical school in oh, okay. Compton, Inglewood, somewhere uh -huh. in there. It's it's a it's a HBCU, but it's not it's not like a traditional HBCU. Yeah, it sounds like know. something like more tiered towards like the medical field, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, hey, you're going to grad school, like kind of thing. Well, no, it's more like um, like people couldn't get into medical school. So oh, we okay. had to start in medical school. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, let's let's move on to the present. So, like, uh, I guess talk about your journey going from, uh, like after high school band to like being a band director. Um, because all right. I know that, so that's a long journey. <laughs> so all I knew when I left high school was that I wanted to be a band director. I did not know who that meant I had to be a teacher. I, I, I don't know <laughs> why, I did that, but yeah, you know, that, that's what my goal was. You know, even when I got to my college counselors, I was like, Hey, I want to be a band director. They're like, okay. Uh, so your major is going to be music education. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't want to, I don't want to be a teacher. I just want to be a band director. They're like, no, no, this is how you be a band director. You have to be a teacher. And I was like, Oh, okay. Well, you know um yeah. yeah yeah so did you so like what did you major in in in, in college was it music, music, edu music edu education okay yeah music education my major instrument was tuba my minor instrument was percussion uh-huh and does yeah. does everyone have like a major and minor like instrument that they have to play no no uh <laughs> It's funny because um, I was kind of a nuisance to the staff um, because uh -huh. every year you have to do a, a recital. And right. each year I had to do three recitals while everybody was doing one because I was on multiple <laughs> instruments. Right. And they would always make the teachers would be, oh, it's you again, you know. Um, <laughs> but no, I think I was probably the only one during my time that had multiple instruments. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, because I know um, some other colleges, there's like music, ed music education and then there's music performance, which are two completely yeah, like, different majors. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, music education, uh, you get the classes where uh, I guess they teach you how to teach. Right. And then the performance-based classes are, you know, really heavy on private lessons and performances and recitals and public performances and putting stuff together and uh -huh. stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did, I, education. Yeah. I did an interview. This was my second post tsunami episode with RJ. He, I think he also majored in music education. Um, so uh, he has, he has actually like a pretty similar, I guess, like education background as you oh. um rj rj what year did he graduate he graduated in uh 2013 so yeah, that's 10 years after me yeah fairly fairly young i don't think i know uh, yeah <laughs> uh, but uh let's see so you always wanted to be a band director and i'm 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 you're a band director now, and I'm going to guess that it lined up with what you wanted to do. Um, did you have, like, a specific, yes. like, location of, like, where you wanted to be a band director at? 
Like, did you want to go back to Oxnard and be a band? I'm happy you said it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Like the only reason. I... You see this? <laughs> I went to be a band director to come back to this school mm -hmm. and to take this school around the world. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that's literally why I went. That's what I wanted to do. Even when I was going into the military, I was only going to be the band director so I could come back when Mr. Ingalls was done. Yeah. You know, I, like, I just had so many dreams for what CI could be. Like, even, um, you know, once I found out that Mr. Ingalls left and that Mr. Terrell came, I was like, okay, well, Mr. Terrell's there. So let me, I started teaching in Florida. Yeah. So I went and did, uh, I did what, five, five some odd years in Florida thinking, okay, well, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he's ready to leave now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's not the case. Right. And, um, you know, I, I can't push him out of his position. Right. You know, he's a really, he's a really yeah, cool yeah. guy. He's really, really cool, a cool kid and, you know, cool wife. Um, and. I'm not sure if they're moving to the area, but I know back in the day they were always commuting, you know, hours to get to school. So yeah. I understand that he's not as present as, you know, somebody who would be living in town. Right. right. Um, yeah, I, I always wanted to, my dream is to be at CI. Mm -hmm. Sorry, people at Oxnard, if you see this, <laughs> I love you guys. It's just my heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah what's what's been the big difference between like oxford's band and ci's band because when i was at ci i was always very um like i was always like jealous of you know like oxford's like band program like it was just like for me like they were up there and like we were down here in terms of you know the band program um so what's been what's been your experience um So the biggest difference, I mean, you said it earlier, the biggest difference is CI mm -hmm. is student ran and Oxnard is is ran by an adult, a, a director, you know, and they have a specific mm -hmm. purpose. And, you know, there's traditions that you have to fulfill and, and mm -hmm. you have to honor, you know. Um, so like the competition, you know, this is the... This would have been the 35th year, 36th yeah. year, 36th year of the competition. But, you know, of course, of course, COVID. Right. Um, oh, man, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, sorry, ask me that question again. Yeah, so what? what's the biggest thing you notice between Oxnard's band program and, like, CI's band program? Yeah, it's, it's just, you know, the guidance. You know, um, CI has heart. Oxnard has scientifically proven techniques mm -hmm. that they follow. That's that's yeah. That's it. If CI got sorry, Oxnard. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Oxnard. Uh, if if CI got half as much technical ability that Oxnard has. They blow them out of the water. <laughs> like what the the heart, the amount of heart and dedication. They they could they could easily rule this area, mm. easily. I digress. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, being like <laughs> for me as drum major, you know, I always wanted. You know, I did the best that I could. You know, as a student, because you know, being a high school student, we don't. You know, you can't really drive anywhere. We just we don't have any money. You know, you know that kind of thing um so you right. got to be resourceful and all that mm -hmm. um and i think i did the best that i could um i took like ideas from other bands you know i took ideas from ucla's bands um i stole trombone suicides from colorado mm -hmm. state university's band um <laughs> uh i got some i got yeah. some like pet band tunes from uh you see san diego's like pet bands so stuff like that i i tried to make the band like just better um and and like julian was like a big influence too because he was like a, he was like a very strict like drum major julian was the drum major before me 
Um, so that like that that like that was the foundation I was working with, and so I always like wanted to build on top of that. Um, and uh, I think in in retrospect, you know, I I think I did a pretty good job, but you know, it's kind of hard to me for me to say because I'm biased, of course. But uh, I don't know. You you could talk to like <laughs> one of my peers or Julian, you know, get his get his take. Um, let's see. Um, you mentioned you 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 taught at like Florida. What was what was that experience like? Because um, when I was listening to you talk about like Fort Myers, just like this sounds <laughs> crazy. How like the kids were just like getting into the fights and stuff. Right? Um. So uh, I would just say that it is. It's 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 it's, it's sad. It's yeah. a sad place. Um. So I'll I'll. So I'll say this, um, a lot of students died uh -huh. there, uh, so much so that they have built a moment of silence into the school day, wow. every single day after the national uh -huh. anthem. Like that's how often somebody got shot and, mm -hmm. and died, you know, at that school or in the community. So like, it was, it was yeah. an experience. Like after college, you know, I knew that I wanted to teach at, I, I want. I wanted to teach somewhere where it doesn't snow, right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I wanted to be near the water. So um, California, Florida. Mm -hmm. So uh, I chose Florida because my California dream was occupied, and I thought you know I could kill some time over here. And um, and 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 wow, yeah. that's crazy. And, Did do you think that experience made you a better? person or better band director or or just a better teacher say that one more time does your experience you know being in florida and being in that environment did that make you a better person or a better teacher you know did, oh. that, did that have like a big big influence in like in your life um it really taught me okay um you know how I just wanted to be a band director, you know, that was, I was kind of doing it for selfish reasons. And, you know, I took those selfish reasons into teaching and, you know, I yeah. wasn't really caring about the kids. I didn't care about anything except for, did you play the notes right? Are you showing yeah. up on time? You know, I really wasn't caring about their well being, And right. um, they let me know that that's not going to fly and they're not going to, yeah, that, yeah, I had to learn to be empathetic and to right. not only think about myself. So yeah, it was, if it wasn't for that experience, I'd probably be one of those really strict band direct, not, yeah, probably one of those strict band directors that always yeah. wants everything a certain way, really anal, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, because when I, yeah. when I came out of high school, I could have taught, I mean, when I came out of college, I could have taught, I could have taught at Juilliard. Like yeah. I was, I was ready, mm -hmm. like, I was ready, ready. And to go to that school, like, musically, they were below CI. They were mm -hmm. below, well, I don't know what the lowest school in the district at your time was, but they were below that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And yeah, I mean, over time, you know, once we built that trust, over time, you know, things got good. And, you know, we were being invited to ireland and and these oh, different awesome. places around the united states and huh. it was it was great you know the only reason we didn't go to ireland is because i moved back to california <laughs> so if you're watching at dunbar hey you know, <laughs> um but i will say that um a lot of my students at dunbar um and uh, james stevens international academy mm -hmm. um they were or currently are on scholarship now in college you know, nice. um, yeah. just being that foundation in them, like, and it was, it was very fulfilling mm -hmm. to say that, uh, just to see the program go from, I'm not going to say zero, but let's just say one yeah. to hero. It was, yeah. it was, it was great. You know, the community really liked it. Um, you know, it, it really built, 
morale of the community and you know this is a community one square mile community in right and this huge retirement town so everybody's older in their way of thinking and you know nobody likes anyone and you know so for there to be that peace and that sense of uh community within the community and you know something that everybody likes you know everybody likes to have a good band you know right yeah yeah, yeah. so for them to have a good band it, it was it was it was just cool and it was really an experience mm -hmm. and um i'm glad i had it even though i feel like uh i can't do what i could have done here had i have come straight out of college mm -hmm. you know i'm you know i'm cool but i think i really could have done some damage wherever i went right. had i went to you know like, you know, I was at Buena. If I went right. to Buena straight out of college, oh, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> like, you know, I was there. And I like to say I didn't do much, you know. But I was the band director there. And they, you know, kids, the dedication is like, it's like CI times five at Buena. Yeah. And they have money. Yeah. So, you <laughs> there, know, there you go. that nope. plus... That plus my my little bit of style and you know all of that that and the coaches you know that all just combines into you know this this state champion band you know it was yeah. it was great yeah. um it's too bad my relationship with the administration uh oh, disintegrated really but <laughs> that's uh, a is, is it uh well since you're talking about is that it a different story um, or a different time <laughs> okay I, I'll make it quick but um. The city of Ventura and Ventura mm -hmm. Unified uh, School District is really not as uh, uh, um, as much of a melting pot as Oxnard that's, that's is. A, and you know, I didn't really realize that. Say it. <laughs> so when I got there, oh, you know, they liked all the cool stuff that I was doing, yeah. but they didn't really like me. Uh -huh. And that was apparent. Um, you know, um, I'm gonna call him out. Um, actually, I won't say his name, but he's the, the assistant principal at Buena, and you know, he used to be the the uh, drama director at Buena for like 38 years. You know, oh, something dang. like that. Okay, yeah. And our our beef started because when I got there, you know, I have been a band director before. I know what mm -hmm. to do. Um, I fill out all my paperwork, and it's to use the auditorium for different, you know showcases mm. and you know the symphony orchestra wants to have auditions so they're going to come and do it there and you know i've been you know, just doing everything a band director is mm. supposed to do you know paperwork wise because it's a lot of paperwork being oh, really? a band director. Like, <laughs> it is no no like that's why if you never see your band director don't think it's because he's lazy it's because he is doing or he or she is doing paperwork <laughs> like it is stupid the amount of paperwork and and access and and just hoops that one has to go through just to do one event. Dang, like, that's it, crazy. It's crazy. Like, well, um, anyways, well, well um, good for Terrell because you know they had the students to lead the band while he could do the paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, man, if it if it wasn't if you guys didn't have that balance, then I don't know what would have happened to CI. But <laughs> hey. It all worked out. Um, it definitely worked out. Let's see. Speaking of which, my I remember my second year at Oxnard, and at the at the Oxnard Christmas Parade. So let's see, I got mm -hmm. to Oxnard in 2016, 2016, 17, 17, mm -hmm. 18. So it was either 2007. I think it was 2017 Christmas, 2017. I could not believe how good CI sounded. They sounded like a recording, like coming <laughs> down the street, and they, yeah. you know. They won. They won first place and everything. And I, mm -hmm. I remember hearing them, and I was like, "Wow, what band is that?" And I looked, and it's CI. And I'm like, "Do they have a speaker in the middle of the band?" <laughs> yeah, they're just, you know, they're... Like, what the heck? Like, what are they? What are they trying to pull? They don't sound like that. <laughs> but CI, what? I was like, "Okay, CI, do it." You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that was around the time where Julian was still teaching at CI, and and uh, Julian he had that. Um, 
he had that brass ensemble group that he did as extracurricular. Because I guess as a oh. as a teacher, you have to have some sort of extracurricular that you have to do. Um, oh yeah, student teaching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's what he did for for his thing. Is that he? Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, he 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 basically had a like a brass ensemble, like brass, not a quartet, but like it was just like it was like if 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 drumline was just brass instruments, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, it's a um, choir, brass choir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was basically a brass choir. Um, so I don't know if that influenced, you know, some of the band kids um, that were playing some of the brass instruments. I don't know, maybe that had some effect. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure um, it did. I'm sure it did. Because yeah. it, it literally sounded like a recording was playing. I could not mm -hmm. believe it. So yeah. good job, of whoever did what that year. You guys were amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, we're going a little bit over. We're a little bit over an hour. Like, how are you doing on time? Um, I'm getting a few text messages, but we can go for yeah. it until like 3.45. It's like 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. What are the things um, about... So, I guess my, my, my next question is like, what, like, what's it like being a band director? Like I've never been on that side <laughs> of, of the aisle. You know, I've always been, a, I've always been a band student. I've always been, you know, one of the drum majors. So I worked with, you know, the band director pretty closely, but um, uh -huh. how's it like being a band director? Um, it's, it's very fulfilling and mm -hmm. It's very fulfilling, but it's to the degree where you kind of have to humble yourself. Like, cause as a band director, you can get this God complex where, you know, like mm -hmm. only you matter and everything revolves around you. And, you know, I see. It, it kind, I'm not gonna say it kind of does, but it kind of does. But like, if you take that mentality, then things can go south pretty quickly. Yeah. And, you know, I, I love being a band director. Like I can't, imagine doing anything else well i can't i can't imagine myself putting forth as much effort i'm doing is, mm -hmm. is, that i'm putting and getting what i get in return right. not only pay but you know just the fulfillment mm -hmm. and getting to see students go from somebody who just keeps tempo to somebody who has a full ride scholarship right. to this university so um yeah i mean how does it feel like um, i don't know it yeah because being i mean like being i don't know be, it, being, feels, it feels yeah being drum but, major like being drum major like i know what it's like to be on the podium you know i know what it's like to be in front of the bands yeah. and like conducting the band and all that but you know, at, 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 at the end of the day, like, you're still a student, you know, you're not the band director. So, uh, yeah, I was just curious, you know, what, yeah. what what is it like being on the other side of the aisle, you know, being, I guess, I don't so want to be like God. Basically, basically what you, what you said, like, it, it should, it should kind of be like that. Like, you're the drum major. This is yeah. your band. Like, that's how yeah. I feel like. This is the drum majors band like this is y'all right. like i'll direct you i'll guide you i'll take you as far as you want to go but like this is your band and it's up to you to encourage them and and i, I don't know keep them i don't know keep them interested right. Right. um and you know that's i don't know i just i'm i'm always optimistic i'll say because um Gosh, everything always comes back to see. I, I just want, <laughs> I just want people to to have that dedication mm -hmm. that CI has had. You know, and I was like, it is just the. I know it's there. I know it's here in Oxnard. I know that. These sidebar. Did you know that in the '60s and the '70s, Oxnard, Ventura. Mm -hmm were the main music hotspot of the United States 
Oh, really? <laughs> Did you know that middle schools, middle schools back then were mm -hmm. playing grade five music? Middle schools. Dang. Like, I, my, my band doesn't even play grade five. Like, <laughs> it, like we'll touch grade four for festival. Yeah. But grade five in middle school, like, it was like, this was the music hub, you know? And, oh, man, it's... It's just crazy what this place has yeah. been and and the changes it's gone through and yeah and where we are today dang know? that's crazy i mean wow. i was freaking playing like hot cross buns when i was in like middle school you know <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah um i guess miss i guess the um you know my teacher was miss walker Apparently, there was a teacher before her who did the same thing, and that's where it all got started. We were the only ones who, um, I think third grade is where they started in the elementary schools. I think they started at fourth grade. Yeah, yeah it was fourth, they grade, at fourth grade now, yeah. if they still do. But, um, you know, my sister started playing the flute. And th okay, I'm going to go to a different <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pause right now. What is what, what question am I supposed to be ask, answering? Dude, I don't even remember what I was asking. Um, I guess I guess it, my last question that I re, that I can remember is um, your band director experience. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I would I would say I would say that my band director experience like I love it. It I'd give it a ten yeah. out of ten. Um, the worst, the worst part about being a band director is having to deal with adults who um, don't understand. Mm -hmm. Either you know they don't understand what it takes to um, to run a band program. Yeah. They don't understand what it takes for you know a band to sound good. You know they don't understand. I don't know. I've just been through so many administrators and parents right. that uh, I wish I didn't have to encounter, uh -huh. you know. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's the worst part of the job. And luckily, you know, the majority of the day you're with the kids, yeah. and you're not with those people, and that's what that's really what makes it worth it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, it's 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 all about the kids. It's all about I don't know, just the seeing the growth, even yesterday. So yesterday we went back for the first time um, and we're rebuilding our drum line. Everybody graduated. And then, you know, this year, oh, you know, dang. we I think five or five or six, five or six people from Pitt and mm -hmm. two of them um, kind of got recruited to be um, the drum line people. Uh -huh. So, you know, yesterday was the first day back and we invited people out to come and you know only one person showed up but this kid who showed up was like you know he you could tell he had talent mm -hmm. you know he's never played an instrument before he's never played the drums he never played the bass drum he never played the marimba but um sorry mm -hmm. ci i i really apologize mm -hmm. but you know my foundation is ci look at drumline co-captain <laughs> so i'm I'm huh. teaching warm ups and I'm teaching the warm ups. I know, you know, I know eight mm -hmm. on a hand. I know Mambo, you know. Sorry, CI, but Rockstar might be playing those now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we already play dude. We already yeah, play yeah. dude. Everybody, everybody plays yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Do you know where dude came from? I don't, but I know pretty much every drum line in, you know, the Oxford Union High School District like, knows, knows how to play it. <laughs> so, dude and. Mm -hmm. and cadence that yeah. uh ci plays oh i guess yeah he yeah. plays it too um it came from the blue devils oh okay those, those those were blue devils music and they came out here actually up until 2017 they used to come out here every year you know and do a, a summer show oh yeah, yeah i think i think they're still and doing that. Uh, well I, I i don't know about recently but um i like i, I remember them stopping by oxnard yeah, they used to, and they used to stay in the gym at Oxnard uh -huh. High School, but uh, the district has gotten a little strict with that. So now they go up to Santa Barbara, and they're at uh, San Marcos oh, okay. High School. Yeah, yeah. They do that. 
always the last uh, last weekend in June. The last week of June. They get here on Monday and they leave on like Saturday or something like that. Mm-hmm. So put it on put put that on your calendars for twenty twenty two. Yeah. Maybe twenty twenty one if it happens. Yeah, yeah. If this vaccine stuff goes. Right. Okay. I know we're we're running short on time, so I got I got two more questions. Um how yeah. how has your okay. How's it like being a band director like during the COVID time? Because a lot of teachers, you know, are teaching, you know, through distance learning, you know, all the kids are at home. So like, how does that work like as a band? Because I feel like, you know, you because you lose that in-person <laughs> interaction, you know, that's that's the whole point of like bands, you know, yeah. you like you lose a lot of that, that yeah. distance learning. So how has that experience been? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, first I'll say that, um, I wasn't ready for it. I don't think anybody right. else, else yeah. was ready for it. And, um, you know, however, you know, it really got me an opportunity to go over things I don't normally go over. You know, we've got yeah. more into music theory. Yeah. Um, we got more in depth about, um, you know, styles of music and, mm-hmm. and people that play and we got into the anatomy of the the football field and the band step in the, you know, just like going deeper into the stuff that we do. So in that aspect, it was, it was really cool. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, getting to show, showing, showing students videos of different styles of marching band was like really cool. I I thought, you know, Um, just exposing them, you know, but I do that anyway. Um, but you know, as far as playing, you know, it, thank God for uh, mm-hmm. Daniel Cook. He's the director at Camarillo High School. He brought to us uh, this program mm-hmm. called Soundtrack. And what it is, it's like it's like recording yeah. software. You know, it's kind of like a, a cakewalk or whatever whatever they use now, Fruity Loops or yeah. Anyways, it's like that, but it's uh, you can oh. collaborate. So say that me and you, me and you, we're gonna do a song. I'm gonna play the mm-hmm. tuba, and you're gonna play the trumpet. I'm gonna lay down the tuba track, and then mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it in the file. You can listen to it in real time. You can add your track onto it. You can mute it. You can, you know, do all the audio. You know, then we put our parts together, mm-hmm. and you know, you can cut it. You know, so we were working with that, and that was something that was uh-huh. was working for a little bit. But it's still not the same as yeah. playing together. And I'm not sure if you tried to play it together on a Zoom that, call. That, that, that sounds terrible, you know, because everyone has different latencies, you know, with the internet. And it's just, and like sound already has a delay. So like yep. even to delay it further through an internet connection, you know, that, that sounds like a mess to me, like from a technical standpoint. <laughs> um yeah, like I remember one time I just asked everyone, okay, we're going to clap qu- four quarter notes. <laughs> one, two, ready, go. And I promise you, it took 30 seconds for everybody yeah. to get done clapping. <laughs> I was like, okay, this yeah. clearly cannot be done. So we're not yeah, going to Yeah, it. yeah, that sounds, that sounds, that sounds really bad. Or like just trying to get that to work is it's really bad. I've, I wonder how this COVID experience has been with like with other bands, you know, cause I, I haven't talked to Terrell about this at all. You know, how he's been teaching and all that, or like some of the other band directors in the district. So I wonder how they're doing. So I know another big thing that's uh, plaguing my band mm-hmm. and I'm hearing the same thing just from band directors around the country. Yeah. Like students don't see a person being in band anymore. They're like, Oh, oh we don't yeah. get to be around our friends. Oh, we don't get to travel. Oh, we don't get to do this. Why are we even right. doing this? Like, so like, you know, over the summer, I luckily only had maybe five people quit. Mm-hmm. You know, our band is still maybe in the forties yeah. right now, but participation wise, you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it is kind of scary because, you know, a lot of the people that are participating are seniors 
and yeah. the majority of our band, you know, more than half of our band singers this year. So it's, it is kind of scary. Like, you know, the band is, a, it looks like it's going to die out. Oh man. You know, we're going to have 20 people in band next year. And, you know, the past couple years, you know, middle school years, students aren't getting yeah. banned. You know, we, we, you know, our school doesn't have like a feeder school. Like, you know, CI, CI students get p- kids from Blackstock and, and, Ocean and, View. and Ocean right. View and stuff, you know. Oxnard, we get people that haven't played music right. too long, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if at mm-hmm. all. So, you know, that's that's another you know, CI. They have feeders. That's yeah. something that I wish I had. You know, yeah. I wish they started at at fourth grade, you know, where we are in, you know, even though we're in the same city, it's so crazy. Yeah, it's just different. being on the other side of the city, you know, how yeah, much changes. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And so if you are watching this and you are one of those people that have quit band, please reconsider. Yeah. And if not, get somebody else yeah. to join. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Yeah, like my 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 freshman year of high school, I, yeah, I thought the band was gonna die because we had, we were, like we were probably in the same situation as you know Oxnard is, is going to be. You know, we had like twenty twenty five people in the band, but luckily we we literally had like a rush huh. of people, the like for the next class, and it literally doubled the band. I was like, I was blown away. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, I was I was I was blown away. You know, we went from like. 25 people to like over 50 <laughs> like over one year it was insane that's that's how it's supposed to be like yeah. every i feel like every class would have in between 30 and 50 students yeah like i for the amount of students that are in this district and are in in these schools each each class freshman sophomore junior senior should have 30 to 50. Yeah. Like, I think, I I really think that, like, mm-hmm. minimum. But I don't know. We just, I don't know why we can't get people to latch on to this. Like, you know, I, every single day I'm approached by people who wish they learned yeah. an instrument or wish they would have kept going and all that stuff or wish their mm-hmm. parents made them continue piano lessons. Right. So, you know, people... They want it. They just don't know that they want it until it's too late. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. So I encourage people that are listening or even you, you know, if you know someone who doesn't have, doesn't know their purpose, you know, get them into music, mm-hmm. you know, uh, look at them. Do they walk at a, do they walk on beat? <laughs> do they, can they clap? Yeah. You know, do, do your own little recruiting and then send them my way. <laughs> dude dude 50 50 50 band members per class you know you're you're talking about like a 200 person band that's 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 massive <laughs> yeah but that's not even 10 percent of the population yeah, yeah that's not even i mean that's yeah yeah like, Oxford's a big city you know i didn't i didn't realize I mean, how big of a city oxford was until i started looking at populations from other cities from other states Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm talking about school population. You know, it has what three thousand yeah. students. You know, they. I don't. They, it should be easy to have 150 people yeah. in the band. Yeah. You know. But uh, I don't know. There's there's some type of disconnect somewhere. Yeah. And we um, we we yeah, can fix yeah, it for sure. Okay. Um. Anyways, one last question, just to kind of wrap it up, because I know we're going over a little, a little bit on time. Um, like future goals, like how does like what are what are some of your future goals? Like short term, long term, they can either be about um, they can be either be about band or personal life, you know that that sort of thing. Um. So, some short term goals I have uh, include these fish behind <laughs> me. You know, I'm a I'm a fish collector and you know these fish come oh, from nice. africa and South america i just uh, think over here these are discus you'll see those maybe on the next episode um <laughs> hopefully they'll be bigger too 
And then yeah. over there, I have a saltwater. Tank and I have uh, anemones, and they're they're really cool mm -hmm. to look at and stuff. Um, but so these are these are these are my short term goals, except for the anemone tanks because those last they gosh, 120 years. Uh -huh. I didn't know that they lived well, that long. Really? Dang. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, in 20 years, these anemones are supposed to live. Uh -huh. But um, anyways, um, so short-term goals, long-term goals. So personally, um, I want to I want to direct a symphony orchestra, and um, which means you know another short-term goal. I have to go back to college. Um, so. Uh, what I should do, I should go back to my old, my undergrad college, take my zero credit class so that I can get my degree. You know, I have another de degree uh -huh. that I can get, but, you know, there's like a zero credit class that I have to take. It's, you know, some technicality. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, but um, yeah, I want to be a director of symphony orchestra. I want to travel and I want to... fire musicians like those prudy uptight musicians like i want to i want to be the one to loosen them up and have them you know just go just a little bit beyond what they think they can uh -huh. do as a professional yeah. you know um yeah that's my goal i, I want to yeah yeah that's my long-term goal so hopefully my hair or my dreads are not white <laughs> by then hopefully they'll be uh <laughs> You know, still intact, <laughs> but um, that's what that's what I'm striving for. Like, even I tell my students, you know, go go be a band director, come back here. Hopefully, by the time you get back, you can have my job, and I'll go. I'll go direct yeah. the symphony orchestra. Yeah, you you know? <laughs> but you know, um, short term slash long term goal. I want to I want to build something more with Oxnard. Yeah. You know. Um, it seems like every year there's something, you know, there's fires one year or there's, there's always something. I want Oxnard to kind of like CI runs, except for, I want them to still have that director leadership, you know, mm -hmm. um, or director guidance, you know, yep. I want them to have that technical support musically. I want them to, yeah, I want them to. Be able to do whatever they want musically when they leave here. They want them to say, "Hey, you know, I didn't really like high school, but mm -hmm. I know that I can go make a million dollars playing my saxophone. Yeah. I know that I can go and you know make a hundred and fifty thousand dollars as an instrumentalist in this symphony orchestra in mm -hmm. Spain. Or, you know, I can I can take my instrument and I can go in front of Trader Joe's <laughs> and I can make three hundred dollars." Yeah today you know so that's what that's what i want that's what that's that's what i want um i want the students to to be able to 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 express and to emote the music yeah like, have have the music emote you know their feelings yeah. i don't know how how i would word that but yeah you know what i mean yeah 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 you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, funny you mentioned that. Um, I had this idea when I was in college. Like, I wanted to start, like, a citywide, like, pep band or marching band. Um, never got around to it, you know, because, you know, busy with life or whatever. Um, but um, it's, it's an idea that I've always had. I don't know if I want to actually, like, pursue it. But... For sure, like for a lot of people, you know, after high school, you know, that's that's where their music and band career like stops. You know, it's just, it's just like a hard stop. Right. And I wanted some sort mm -hmm. of program, you know, to continue that because as an adult, you know, you don't have that band experience. You know, for the most part, like, you right. know, like anywhere. I mean, we're we're both in the Ventura County concert band, but you know, it's. It's a concert band. It's not and, like a marching band. And you're like the youngest. It, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, you know what? It's, it's strange because like, like I stick out, but I'm, I'm so used to being like out of place that like, it doesn't phase me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's. I understand. Yeah. 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 You get me. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I wish Oxnard, the community of Oxnard, could, you know, just have something like that. It, the community of of uh, of Ventura has that just because Buena, you know, all of yeah. most of those kids they went to Buena. You know, those are those are Buena graduates that are 70, 80 years old, still in the Ventura County Concert Band. You right. know, or they grew up around here. So I don't know. It's just the culture that this area has created over time that's allowed that you know the Ventura County Concert Band to to be around. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So Oxnard does have one. They actually they have two. They have the New West Symphony and they have the Gold Golden State Gold Gold Coast Gold Coast something. Indoor. Yeah. Gold. Yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, and I think Mr. Doty does that. Yeah, but I don't know. They're not. They're not attractive as ensembles as a pet band or a marching band or community right. marching band or something. And yeah, like, man, man, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's something that you know I wanted, that I wanted to start, but you know I don't know if I actually want to commit to it because yeah I have. I have experience, you know, being a drum major, but to like create a band, I feel like that's gonna be chewing more than I can, you know, bite. So uh, I tell you <laughs> what, I'm sure the CI students will be dedicated if you do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure about anybody else, but I know CI. Oh, so they'll be they'll be there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I mean, I do know a few folks. A lot, of, a lot of the people that were that have been on the on this podcast, I feel like. You know they would join in a heartbeat but i don't know just, i'm i don't want to speak for them so <laughs> um have you um gotten anyone that's from my class from 03 i like jesus uh the trombone i think i've i think i met him yeah i think i've met his jesus he he plays trombone i think he graduated from 2000 i want to say 2003 he graduated with me oh okay Maybe it was a different Jesus. Oh, you want to know a funny? Okay, I have to go through the story. You want to hear my yeah. story? So um, we went to uh-huh. middle school together, yeah, yeah. and we went to high school together. So in middle school, uh, in sixth grade, um, I played the baritone, uh-huh. and he played the trombone. And so we were, like, always next to each other and stuff. And, like, we, we mm-hmm. became, like, really cool. And it was, like, me, him, and this... Ten, this very sax player named Juan Maldonado, and we were like really good, and you know, we held it down for the oh, low yeah, brass yeah. and for the low winds and stuff. And um, my seventh grade year, we moved, uh-huh. and I had to go to Fremont. Yeah. And Fremont, that they start music, you know, in six in seventh grade. So I got there, and it was a yeah. drag. Like nobody knew how to play. Sorry, band director, if you're still alive or if you are around, but the band director didn't know what he was doing. Like it was just like a a dumpster yeah. fire. Let's just say that. Just, just like, damn. So I, I always longed to be back, <laughs> and I got to be back my eighth grade uh-huh. year. And by that time, you know, you know, they were still there. They had progressed. They were there the entire time, and I don't know what happened, but. They, I got back and, oh man, they made me, I don't know what happened. They made me mad <laughs> somehow. Ooh, they made me so mad. So, um, <laughs> um, so one day after school, I went, I took uh-huh. his trombone and I put it in the locker next to his. So when he when he went to his locker and he couldn't find his trombone, he freaked <laughs> out. Like yeah, yeah. he started sweating, started crying, started looking everywhere except for the place it was right yeah. next to him. Like and he like ran home. Well, actually, you know what? If you're online, tell me what happened because <laughs> as far as I know and what I heard, this is what happened. Um, and at that same time, okay. So I'll I'll say this: being at Fremont. They were a little bit mm-hmm. different, and I guess some of those ways rubbed off on me. I wasn't like this when I was at CI. I mean, when I was at Blackstock and Hathaway and stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so another thing, uh, Juan Maldonado, he played the Barry Sax, and on his case, he had his name. Like, he would put scotch tape, uh, masking uh-huh. tape 
and then write in big bold letters Juan Maldonado. And at the bottom of his name was just some extra space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I took a permanent marker and I put uh, I put sucks. So it said Juan <laughs> Maldonado sucks. And everybody saw that as they were yeah, leaving yeah. band. And he didn't know why everybody was laughing that day. Oh gosh, he chased me around that banner. He wanted to kill me. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, so I'm sorry, Jesus. That's that's what that reminded me of. I haven't thought about that in a long oh, time. Oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was there was a there was a Jesus that came back probably my freshman year of high school. This was like 2009, 2010. He came back and played with us, and I think he graduated mm -hmm. like 2000, something like that. It, we we might be talking about the same person, but uh, yeah, I just remember him yeah. just being like a really good player. Like he was just super powerful, you know, just from yeah. one, one person playing. Um, but uh, yeah, he he should have been in somebody's in somebody's uh, college program. He yeah. should have gotten a full ride scholarship somewhere. He should have, you know. But being here, you like you don't. I don't think, hey, I can get a music scholarship playing my instrument. I never thought about that until I had one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, we'll we'll wrap it up because we're going over. Um, do you want to give any shout outs or where people could find you? Um, oh, sure. Um, uh, you can find me on Instagram. My public profile is at Mr. Spence True. M R S P E N C E T R U, Mr. Spence True. Um, I'm saying for like Facebook. Um, if you find if you find me on Twitter or Snapchat or anything else I didn't mention, that's not really me. Okay, so people have, <laughs> yeah. people always come up to me. Oh, oh really? Are you on the Twitter? Yeah, I was like, I don't have a Twitter. <laughs> so just know that if you ever see me any any other than Instagram, Facebook, that's not me. Okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, oh, I'd like, I'd like to give a shout out to my mom. Hey, mom. Sister. <laughs> uh, Oxnard High School Band. Oh, Oxnard High School. Oxnard High School Market Swarm. <laughs> I had to make sure I wear my shirt. Show my support. Um, the Band Boosters. Uh, give a shout out to CI, Past, Present, Future. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to shout out the spirit that, you know, I've seen at CI that has not died, that hopefully will live forever. Yeah, dude. Um, still got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everyone musically, give a shout out to my college band director and, and anybody else that may watch this in the future um, that I know. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, dad. Sort of. Never mind. We won't talk about that, Dad. But hey, <laughs> <laughs> cool, awesome. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about maybe doing a part two or something. Um, but yeah, Andre, thanks for coming yeah. on. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right.